Hi everyone, Mr. Porter here. Today we're going to learn about subtraction with borrowing and borrowing across zero. So let's say we're going to subtract 3002 minus 1725. The first thing I like to do is write my numbers in expanded form. The top number gets broken down into 3000, 000, 000 to show that we don't have any hundreds, 00, 000 to show that we don't have any tens, and 2. If you've never written numbers in expanded form, it's pretty easy. Uh, just say the number is really slow. So the bottom number gets broken down into 1,725. I like to give each place value in the top row a name, an actual name of a person. So first we have Thelma in the thousands place, then we have Hector in the hundreds place, Ted is in the tens place, and finally Olivia is in the ones place. On the bottom, we have Bill the bill collector. He collects money from all the people. First he has to collect $5 from Olivia. Does Olivia have enough to pay Bill? No. So Olivia asks her neighbor Ted for help, but Ted doesn't have any money either. Ted then goes to his neighbor Hector, but still he doesn't have any money, so Hector goes to Thelma in this very friendly neighborhood, and finally Thelma has some money to lend. Thelma only has $1,000 bills, so she lends 1000 to Hector. Now Thelma has only $2,000, and Hector, Hector has $1,000. But remember, Bill is still waiting to collect from Olivia. She still needs the money first, so Hector, who only deals in $100 bills, lends $100 to his neighbor Ted. This still leaves Hector with $900. Ted, who only deals in $10 bills, lends $10 to Olivia. That leaves Ted with, with $90, and combined with the $2 she already has, Olivia has $12, more than enough to pay Bill. So Olivia pays Bill $5, leaving her with $7. Ted pays Bill $20, leaving him with $70. Hector pays Bill $700, leaving him with $200. And Thelma pays Bill $1,000, leaving her with another $1,000. 1,000 plus 200 plus 70 plus 7 is equal to 1,277. Created using Powtoon.